Ah, we are going to learn to find the volume of a cube and a cuboid. Let us start by finding the volume of a cuboid. Eh? We already know that the volume of a cuboid is given by the number of cubes along the columns times the number of cubes along the rows times the number of cubes along the layers. So we have volume is equal to the number of cubes along the columns times the number of cubes along the rows times the number of cubes along the layers. So in our cuboid, how many cubes do we have in the columns? We have one, two, three, four. So we have four times one, two, three. Three cubes along the rows times one, two, three times three cubes along the layers. So we have four times three times three, which is equal to <coughs> four times three is twelve, twelve times three, thirty-six. So which is equal to thirty-six cubic units. So that is what we already know so far. The volume of a cuboid is given by the number of cubes along the columns times rows times layers. So we have 36 cubic units. Now suppose each of these cubes making this cuboid is one centimeter, has a length of one centimeter. Let us draw one of it. Just one, eh? Hmm. We have here one cube of side one centimeter. Mm -hmm. Suppose this, each of the cubes making this stack has a length of one centimeter. Then what is the volume of this one small cube? Its volume is equal to one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter, which is equal to one centimeters cubed one centimeters cubed which we can read as one cubic centimeters so if each of the cubes making this cuboid has a length of one centimeters then each of those one centimeters cubed will have a volume of one centimeters therefore we can say that the volume of this cuboid will be given by volume will be given by the number of cubes making it which is 36 times 1 centimeters cubed which is equal to 36 centimeters cubed so what are we saying if each cube making this cuboid has a length of one centimeters. Then the volume of the cuboid will be 36 centimeters cubed. That is if each cube is one centimeters long. So note that the number, the side along the columns is called the length. The side along the columns in a cuboid is called the length. And the side along the rows is called the width. And the side along the layers is called the height. What do we have? The side along the length, the, along the columns as the length, the side along the rows as the width, and the side along the layers as the height. So, we can therefore say that the volume we can therefore say that the volume of a cuboid is given by length since we already know that we already see we have already seen that to find the volume we can multiply the number of cubes along the columns times the number of cubes along the rows times the number of cubes along the layers so if we have this side to be the length this side to be the width and this side to be the height then we can say that the volume is given by length times width 
times height which is equal to we can write them in short form as length times width times height so that is the formula for finding the volume of a cuboid this is the formula so let us look at an example of how we can apply this formula to find the volume of a cuboid now we are talking of situations whereby you may not necessarily have a stack like this that is made of one centimeter cubed one centimeter cubes we can have a cuboid where we only have the length the width and the height because remember if if the cuboid is not make, made up of cubes we can now talk of the length the width and the height so let us look at one such example Suppose we have a cuboid. Eh? Like this. Let's say you have been given that this this side, which is the length, is 8 centimeters. This side, which now is the width, is 6 centimeters. And now this side is 3 centimeters. So how do we find the volume of this cuboid? You can now see that we have been given a cuboid that is now not necessarily made up of these small cubes. So how do we find the volume of this cuboid? So we just say that the volume will be given by length times width times height, which will be equal to 8 centimeters times 6 centimeters times 3 centimeters which will be equal to 8 times 6 48 times 3 which will be equal to 144 centimeters cubed so when writing the volume we must write the units, which in this case is given as centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. So we say that the volume of this cuboid is 144 cubic centimeters. You must always, always write this unit centimeters cubed to show that it is the volume. This small 3 that is written in just above M shows that we are actually finding the volume. So this is the volume of a cuboid. Similarly, for a cube, we just multiply the length times the width times the height. The same case for a cuboid is the same case for a cube. Only that for a cube, we know that all the sides are the same or they are equal because you can see here we have three cubes three cubes and three cubes so the formula for the volume of a cube will still be given by length times width times height only that for a cube all sides are the same or are equal so let us look at an example of finding the volume of a cube. Mm -hmm. Suppose we have this side to be 5 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 5 centimeters. Note that each of the sides of this cube is 5 centimeters. So, the volume will be given by length 
multiply by the width multiplied by the height which will be is equals to 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters which will be equal to 125 cubic centimeters without this one when we are given the length to be in centimeters it will not be the volume so the volume is 125 centimeters cubed and not just 125 because we have been given the length of the sides in centimeters so that is the volume of a cube so we can summarize by saying that the volume of a cube and a cuboid the volumes are given by volume is equal to length times width times height which we can write in short form as v is equals to L, L times W times H. So that is the volume of a cube and a cuboid. Thank you very much.